Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing with you a week of outfits that I put together for the fall time. I am a mom of three and I think that's really important to note for the outfits that I'm putting together. I have five-year-old twin boys and a two-year-old little girl and as you can imagine, I am really busy. I am always coming and going, especially now that it's like the school year. I have a wide spectrum of outfits that I put together on any given week. This is really realistic for the outfits that I do put together and I have some really affordable pieces to share with you as well as some more like investment pieces that I really love. I always get questions about pieces that I am wearing or different things in my videos so I'm gonna make it super simple for you guys I will have one link per outfit that I share with you and that link will take you to my like to know it page having it all in one spot so you can see all of the different pieces as well as like alternate pieces that are similar that I want to share with you guys it makes it super simple and I've really enjoyed doing it that way lately and I know a lot of you have too if you enjoy this video while you're watching it then don't forget to give it a thumbs up especially if you want to see me make more videos like this I also appreciate it when you subscribe and join the community of awesome some people that we have over here so make sure that red subscribe button is clicked and that you turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss whenever I post my every week Monday videos as well as extra videos that I throw in there from time to time with that said let's hop into the first outfit I will see you on Monday okay so outfit number one it is Monday happy Monday I have to turn on my light in here because it's actually really dark outside my days start pretty early and early mornings in the Seattle area in the fall time are dark. So here's my outfit for today on the agenda for today. My boys have pre-K and then I have my mom's group for um, like preschool moms. It used to be called Mops. It's an awesome time and so I kind of want to look cute but not like overdone if that makes sense. So I've got this cute comfy casual look. Let's start from top to bottom. So my hair, I just kind of got like a very loose French braid to the side, a little ponytail with this little, um, I think that's called like a bunny ear scarf. I wear these so much nowadays. I feel like it gives me the feeling of like longer hair, which I miss. And then this um, sweater, some of you in the UK would call it a jumper. I have had this for years and years. Um, this is a Forever 21 sweater and if I can find something that's similar in color, I will link it for you guys in the coordinating like to know it post. I've actually considered snipping that lace off of it because I think it actually verges on a little outdated, but I still think it's really pretty. I like a feminine touch. And then I am wearing my favorite. These are the curvy skinny high-waisted jeans from American Eagle. I wear the extra short cut and I talked about these in my recent uh, closet tour video like fall favorites in my wardrobe video. They're a huge staple in my fall wardrobe. And then on my feet today, I have my black velvet birdies shoes. I've talked about these a couple of times before. They're super comfortable. They have this quilted inside, an extra arch support, some heel padding to make them super supportive and comfortable. I know after sharing these a couple of times, you guys have actually used my referral link and purchased some for yourselves, and I'm getting feedback from you that they're now your favorite shoes too. So they're worth every single penny. They're much more of an investment piece than just like a budget piece that I could buy at Target, but the value, the quality, it's there. I love them so much, and I've just been living in these shoes, both these black ones and then the nude pair that I have. And I'm wearing my favorite little necklace. This is just a little monogram necklace that Weston got me with the kid's initials on it. This is something that he got me for Christmas, which I love so much. Of course, I'm wearing my wedding ring, and then I will also link my nail color for you guys. Makeup today is just a variation of my everyday fall makeup look that I have uh, done a video on. So if you wanna see that, I will link it in the description box. Uh, this is just a variation of it. But that's what I have going on today. It's just comfy, casual, but cute at the same time. Having the little hair scarves really help just 
tie the outfit together and take it from basic to just a little bit more dressed up without being overdone. So that's what I'm wearing today and I'll see you on Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, everyone. This is a super casual outfit I am wearing today. I have a grocery run at Walmart and then I'm also doing an order pickup at Target. So I'm starting off with my Adidas hat. I'm covering up some three-day hair. I also am wearing this chambray button front double pocket shirt. It's like a tunic length, so it goes down over my butt. These leggings are ones that I've had from Old Navy for probably like five years. Um, they're a little bit pilled and worn out, but again, I'm not doing anything fancy today. Um, and then I'm wearing my basic Adidas sneakers. I wear these all year round. I'm wearing that same necklace from yesterday. I actually slept in it. Um, same nail color. I need to get my wedding ring on. So the van is heating up right now. I typically, if I was going to be like walking around outside a little bit more, I would wear a coat, but that's not part of this outfit because I don't like to wear a coat while I'm driving. I do have like an emergency jacket in the van in case I break down and I need a coat or whatever. So this is what I've got for today. Um, when I'm done running errands, I'm gonna come home, do some editing work while the kids have their quiet time and nap. Uh, I've got lots of laundry to do as usual, dishes to do, dinner to make, and this is just what I'm going to be wearing throughout the day unless one of my kids, you know, like sneezes snot all over me or spill something on me. I do change during the day randomly, but this is the outfit that I picked out for my super casual go run errands day. Liam and I are wearing the same shoes. Very cool. Happy Wednesday, everyone. We're about to head out the door, so I have to move quickly, but I just wanted to show you what I am wearing to Haley's mommy and me little toddler ballet class that she has. I've also got pre-K drop-off to do again. I'm also thinking about stopping into our local nursery to check out what they have right now. I don't really have any other plans today, so this outfit will probably just do it for the rest of the day. I have this super cozy, um, I think this is, yeah, it's Forever 21. And it's so funny, some of my oldest clothing is actually from Forever 21. I showed you guys that in my closet tour, um, a shirt that I've had for a really long time. And I usually think of them as like really cheaply made clothing, but the, a few pieces have really lasted in my collection. This is one of them. This is a super cozy, just basic zip up hoodie. I have lost the tie to it. It had like a white tie in the hood. And then underneath this, I actually have this jumpsuit on. Let me take the um, sweatshirt off and show this to you. So this is just a little jersey basic black jumpsuit. I love that it has pockets here and this crisscross front. I wish I had this when I was a breastfeeding mom because this would be so perfect for nursing. Funny story about this specific piece of clothing. This is actually featured in my friend Brianna Kay's, uh, it was like seven days of outfits, the similar sort of video to this one. And after seeing that last year, I thought, oh, I need to get myself that jumpsuit. The way she was describing it was like, that would be perfect. And she had it linked. It's from Nordstrom and it's definitely more of an investment piece. And so I thought, yeah, maybe I'll wait for it to go on sale, but it's definitely something that I want in my collection. And then I saw just a few months ago that she was actually selling this piece on her Poshmark and I snatched it right up. So thank you, Brianna, for not only introducing this piece of clothing to me, but also selling me the one that you owned. I love giving things a second life and it's fun. I always think of her when I'm wearing it. I love it. I have to uh, cuff the feet. Oh, I got a little thread here. I have to cuff the hem because as you can see, if it's full length, it's just a little bit too long and billowy and it kind of um, scrunches up there at the ankle. So I give it just one little cuff to make it the proper length that it should be, which Brianna was able to wear this full length because I imagine she's a little bit taller than I am. At least longer, at least longer in the leg. But yeah, I always think of Brianna when I wear this. I love it so much. I wear it all the time. And actually in my closet tour video, I had a question from someone asking, what does it mean when you like dress 
up or dress down a piece of clothing. I don't quite understand what that means or like could you give us an example? And so I think this is actually a really good example of a piece that can be dressed up or dressed down. Um, this is what I'm going to be wearing to Haley's ballet class because I'm comfortable. It moves really well with my body so it's perfect for one of those like mild exercise sort of situations. I'm wearing it with my little New Balance sneakers and with that hoodie so it looks kind of sporty. Um, it's on the casual side so it's like dressed down in that sense. But I actually plan on wearing this in a couple of days on a date with Weston. Um, and in that case, I would put a different pair of shoes on, maybe something different over the top, accessorize it a little bit differently. And as you will see a couple of days from now, it will it will definitely be a different sort of look altogether. So stay tuned for the other way I wear this particular piece. But for right now, I gotta go pack the kiddos up, take the boys to pre-K, do the little toddler ballet thing with Haley, and then I will see you for my next outfit. Hey everyone, I actually just got in from doing the morning's activities, there's Haley. Um, the boys have uh, pre-K three times a week sometimes, and sometimes it's just the two times a week. And this week, it's three times a week. And so here we are for yet again another pre-K drop-off. And this morning got a little crazy, so I wasn't able to show you the outfit that I put on before I left the house and before I went on these activities. Haley actually still has her coat on from when we were out. Um, I took my coat off, but it will be linked in this um, uh, link for this outfit. But it's the same sort of thing that I was wearing earlier this week, just a little bit of a variation, which is how I like to plan my outfits. It takes a lot of the guesswork out. If I just have like the same type of piece, but mix and match which one I'm using. So that's what I did with the little hair scarf. Instead of having it be with my little ponytail, I have kind of a half up style going on and I used the little black background with the white daisies. My sweater today, this is from American Eagle. This is like my favorite pullover crew neck sweater. It's cozy and soft and warm without being too warm. Like it doesn't make me all sweaty. It still breathes really well. I don't like any one layer in my outfit to be too heavy. I like to layer on multiple lighter layers, even when it's really cold outside. And this is perfect for that. And I've shared this style of sweater in other videos recently. And I have the cream one, which I've showed before, and then this beautiful marled gray color, which I think is my favorite out of the two. But you guys know my favorite color is gray. And I love these jeans. I also shared this in a recent fall wardrobe favorites video. These are from American Eagle as well. And they're the mom jeans, the stretch mom jeans. They have a good snug high waist. And there's my wrinkly mommy tummy, courtesy of being pregnant with twins at one point. But it also has enough room in the button thigh and it's relaxed through the leg to just add a nice um, sort of relaxed look without being like too sloppy or too like boyfriendish. Like this is like the perfect pair of comfy jeans in my collection. They fit perfect and I love that American Eagle jeans come in that short length. I have my birdies shoes on that I showed you before. There's the nude pair and I wanted to show you. I would wear the nude pair if I was wearing the cream colored version of this sweater. I just think that sort of creamy beigey color goes really well and I thought for the gray sweater I could do this sort of monochromatic with the little you know black and white daisy scarf, um, little sweater, black shoes. I just think this outfit kind of goes together. And then I'm changing up the jewelry today. I'm not much of a jewelry person, but I've been loving this little piece. I've shared this before. This is a little uh, pine cone necklace from Old Navy. I don't think it's available online. I've tried to link it before, but I will link similar ones that I can find. Um, there's actually an Etsy shop. One of you commented and shared that you have a friend who owns an Etsy shop that makes something very similar to this. Hi. I see you too. Makeup is just like another version of my fall makeup that I've been doing. It's just a little lighter this time. I didn't get too heavy handed with any of the products, oh but that's all for now, folks. I will see you for my next outfit. Hey everyone, welcome to Friday. As you can see, the week has taken a toll on the state of my bedroom. I have 
stuff all over my bed, shipping boxes, makeup, random pieces of clothing. Um, and this is the first outfit of the day. I put this on to actually film the intro to this video and then to do some other video work. But I'm actually gonna be changing out of this. Before I do, let me give you the rundown. I'm wearing this Buffalo Check plaid shirt. This is new to my collection. I've heard people talking about that Time and True brand over at Walmart and how their products are pretty much dupes for more high-end pieces. This shirt was under $15 and I wish they had it in my size at the store that I shopped at, but I'm actually really enjoying the oversized fit. Typically I would be an extra small or a small and then if I want something oversized I usually go for a medium, but they only had a large and it's definitely quite oversized on me, but I think it's cute and it's nice to have more flowy options for days you're feeling a little bloated without getting too TMI. That's me right now. It's that time of the month. So this is really comfy right now. And I'm wearing it with the same American Eagle mom jeans. Perfect also for bloaty days. And I slipped on my birdies shoes once again for um, the errands that I ran today. I went to the post office again. And, um, and now that we're home, I am going to change my pants because I do not like to clean in jeans. Let me know in the comments what your like cleaning attire is. You think my bed looks bad? It's not even the worst spot in my house. My whole house is a disaster right now. And Friday is my like tidy up get everything back to normal cleaning day um even like cleaning out the van and so that's what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna probably keep this shirt on and just throw on a pair of leggings and a pair of tennis shoes so i will show you that in a second okay so here is what i am cleaning in i actually chose to not wear that flannel um because i like to be in as cool of outfits as i can because i get overheated <laughs> when I clean because it's quite the task around here. So I just have a basic, I think this is either Target or American Eagle, just black shirt. On the bottom, I'm wearing my favorite Lululemon cropped leggings. I've had these for years and years. If you guys have been around for a while, you might remember that I um, had these in a thread up haul. So these were thrifted. And then on my feet, I have my New Balance sneakers. I always wear shoes when I'm cleaning or cooking um, and usually it's my Birkenstocks but sometimes if my sneakers are sanitized I'll wear those around the house to clean but I'm just rambling on now and stalling with all that cleaning that I need to do so I'm gonna say goodbye for now and I'll pick you guys back up for some fun outfits for an activity thing that we have planned for this weekend okay well I got the house cleaned up and put my mirrors a little bit splotched with fingerprints from Haley. But here's my outfit for some weekend activities. Weston and I are actually taking a date today. I've got to move quickly once again because we're on our way out the door. He's getting the kids out to the van. But this is my outfit featuring that same little black jumpsuit. And as you can see, this time I've dressed it to be a bit more fancy. I'm still in a casual outfit, but this is more dressed up than what you saw when I took Haley to ballet and was wearing this little jersey jumpsuit um, with sneakers and a sweatshirt and just had my hair like tied back in a knot. I didn't even have any jewelry on that day. But today I'm wearing my little um, uh, pine cone necklace. I also have this jacket from Gap, this denim jacket, just a very basic piece in my collection. I've had this for years. Newer to my collection is the hat that I keep sharing with you guys that I love so much and I feel like I could wear the rest of this outfit and it could work for any time of the year, but I put this hat on and all of a sudden it's a fall outfit. I don't know what you guys think, but that's how I feel when I'm wearing this. And then instead of tennis shoes, I'm wearing the black birdies once again. Don't need to stay very long here because you've heard me preach about the merits of these shoes. They're my absolute favorite. I love them so much. I think they really tie in this look. And I actually haven't shown you handbags yet. Um, when I don't have kids in tow, like when I'm on a date night or um, getting together with a girlfriend or whatever, I like to carry just a bigger bag. It helps me uh, keep all my stuff together, like cameras, extra memory cards. I had this gray Michael Kors. This is their large Selma tote bag for years. I thrifted this, I think off of Poshmark or Mercari, not sure which one. And then I also have my smaller 
um, like cognac colored quilted little mini Selma that fits perfectly in here for if I need to like just take my essentials with me. Bring this to church like if I'm on the worship team and I want to put my music binder in there or a water bottle. Typically I'm not someone who packs very heavy. I don't like to have a big bag but in situations where I do want to pack a little bit more I think I might even put my DSLR in here for getting some b-roll of the fall time and of our date together. I definitely want something that will hold more. So this is what I'm bringing. I can also bring my Lily Jade diaper bag, but I'm actually leaving that with my mother and father-in-law who are taking the kids for us as we go on our little breakfast date. We're going to our favorite place. It's the Fat Hen in Seattle. It's uh, an amazing breakfast spot. I love it so much and I'm really excited about it. And this is the outfit that I put together for that. And then when we get home after that, um, I am probably just going to stay in this jumpsuit, take the accessories off, take the jacket off, kick off the shoes. And this is like the perfect thing to lounge around my house and just spend a Saturday reading to the kids, probably watching Spongebob, you know, that sort of thing. So love this piece. Um, it's definitely more expensive, um, seeing that it is from Nordstrom, but if you can find it used, you'll save a little money there like I did, or if you are able to afford it, it's so versatile. I wear it every single week. Like there is a day every single week that I am in this and it's so, so versatile in my collection. So that is Saturday's outfit and I will see you on Sunday. <laughs> Happy Sunday, everybody. So I've been to church and come back. I was on the worship team this morning. And when I put this outfit together, it was pitch black outside because I had to be to the church um, at 6.15 ish. And it was still dark outside. So I thought I would wait until I had ample light to share my outfit with you guys and um, this is what I am wearing today. Now we don't go to a church that like requires you or pressures women to wear dresses and I actually rarely wear a dress or a skirt to church but this morning I was feeling like it. This is a long sleeve swing dress from Old Navy. This maroon color is perfect for the fall but I'm definitely going to keep this in my wardrobe for like the Christmas time. This is another one of those pieces that can be dressed up or dressed down because it is that jersey material. If I wore little sneakers with this or like a hoodie over it, it would definitely feel a little bit more sporty. But today I'm wearing it with this zip up little vest thing. This is actually from the Mossimo brand at Target from back in the day. I also have an olive colored one. There's these little like straps that uh, button they snap on the shoulders to give it kind of that utilitarian look. I love layering a vest over a dress. I just think it's really cute. And then because this vest has silver hardware, like that zipper and the little buttons, I am wearing the silver version of the little pine cone necklace. I'm wearing just a basic pair of full length nylons. I have a little slip underneath because these jersey dresses are thin. And if I am up on stage with lights on me for the worship team, I wanna make sure that I'm being modest. And I'm wearing my little, um, these are the truffle collection little Chelsea boots that I've had for years. I've worn these hundreds of times. They are well broken in. I fix little scuffs on the toe with a little Sharpie from time to time, but they still look crisp. They still look good. I love the black and maroon for this time of the year. Then adding a little uh, pine cone just makes it feel very fall time and I'm digging this outfit for the early part of Sunday But I'm gonna get out of it now and show you what I'm wearing while I lounge around the house and enjoy some football Go Seahawks and Sunday fun day outfit. I've changed um, in my Seahawks t-shirt. I got this from Walmart This is my favorite one that I have because I love this little like baseball tee with the gray camo detail um, and it was actually pretty affordable compared to other like merch and it came with this little tie in it which I think is really cute. Basic pair of black leggings that I wore earlier in the week that have now been washed because I cleaned the house with them on and then to be cozy and to also cover my butt in case we have guests come over or I pop out to go to the grocery store I'm just wearing this super soft and cozy cable neck cardigan from um, 
American Eagle. That's the word I'm looking for. So, yep, just cozy, comfy, hanging out at home, cheering on our Seahawks little game day sort of outfit. And that actually wraps up all of the outfits that I wore this week. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you wanna see more videos like this here on this channel, thumbs up really helps me know what sort of videos to make again. Leave those requests in the comments as well. And let me know what a favorite wardrobe piece of yours has been. What's an outfit that you've been going to, putting together a lot. That black jumpsuit is definitely one of the most versatile pieces in my wardrobe along with the little birdie shoes, which you guys saw over and over again. I don't share anything unless I really absolutely love it. So be sure to check out the links that I have for you guys in the description box. But as for now, I'm gonna go cheer on the Seahawks, enjoy some family time, and I'll say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Thanks for spending a little part of your day here with me, and I'll catch you later. And the